this is a huge field of play because um, uh, technology is, uh, um, has a more of an input into sport, we all know that. I think that all the innovation of the technology or the innovation that I can see here and um, I'm really impressed with, uh, with, the, with this. I think it's completely in line with the Agenda 2020, with everything that has to do, has to do with, with uh, innovation and Agenda 2020 itself, it's an innovation. So I can see the, the, the bridge between, between uh, the developments in the IOC and the developments here. If I think 10 years ago, uh, maybe I would have not expected what's, what is going on today. I think, I think sport in, in 10 years will be first, generally speaking, uh, accessible to more people. I think sport in a certain way is, um, uh, is, is becoming more and more, I'd say, popular, democratic. It's accessible to, to more people. So this is one, one feature I can see in 10 years. Second, second feature is that there will be um, a lot of interaction uh, between, between um, the amateur sport and the professional sport. Uh, I think there's a gap today but I think that with, uh, with uh, these new technologies, this gap can be, can be uh, closed. And these technologies are also important because they, they um, uh, attract young people. And this is what today uh, sport, uh, in general speaking, lacks. Um, we need the youth to come back to the sport, but we understand that the traditional sport as I used to practice it is, is a little bit back behind. So these new technologies, uh, we count on them to, to bring uh, youth to back to the, back to sport, to a, to a new sport. I think that what is very important is to, to stay in contact with the, with the athletes. Uh, because you can get a lot of inspiration and ideas from the athletes. They know exactly what they need, they know exactly what they want. And, and this is why uh, staying close with, with the competitors is very, very important. It's from there that you get your source of information. and. It's from there that you understand the needs and you respond to the needs. You're putting yourself in a position to be able to respond to the needs. What I must say that um, as, as an IOC member, I, I'm really impressed with this, uh, say with this uh, pair of, of sport and innovation here in Trentino and, and uh, in Trento and in, in the region. And um, I can see, I can see that there's there's also some sport routes in the Universal in 2013, and my impression is that that Universal was like a starting point for uh, for all uh, what what is happening now. It's really impressive. Uh, I only wish uh, I could see this uh, in more more places.